What's up guys, my name is Technumber here for Troubleshoot and today's video is going to be focusing more on a DirectX error that crashes out of your game, more specifically DirectX encountered an unrecoverable error. So this can happen to you when launching the game, changing game settings, joining a lobby or actually loading into a match and we'll be going through a couple of fixes today that hopefully will help you out with this issue. Either way, we're going to start off with a couple of super simple, easy to do fixes. The first one, have a look inside of your Blizzard launcher and if you haven't already, go to Options, followed by Scan and Repair, right under Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and then click Begin Scan. It'll then scan through all of Call of Duty's files and make sure everything is how it's meant to be, and if something's out of order, it'll re-download it, and then eventually when you start up the game, hopefully your error will be fixed. Otherwise, if it's not, then there's a couple of super basic fixes that you should probably be doing anytime you receive any kind of error. Make sure that you've restarted your PC at least once. And because this is a DirectX error, some people have been reporting that checking that their hardware is properly seated inside of their computer has been a fix for them. A couple of people have taken out their graphics cards, put it back in, and then they report that it's working much better with fewer crashes. As for how true that is, I have no idea, but it's always a good thing to make sure that your hardware is properly seated if you have a desktop computer. If you have a laptop computer or an all-in-one, then this isn't really an answer that applies to you. And of course, we have the third check that you should be getting to, and that is making sure that all of your drivers are up to date. Make sure that your Windows is up to date in the Windows Update Manager, and of course, make sure that you download the latest graphics drivers from the NVIDIA or AMD website. After making sure those are all up to date, try and launch the game again and see if it works. Otherwise, if it doesn't, then there's a couple more fixes that we can go into. Inside of your Blizzard Launcher, under COD Modern Warfare, hit Options, and then go to Game Settings. Then make sure you're on the Game Settings tab, and we'll check right under Call of Duty Modern Warfare, we'll tick Additional Command Line Arguments, and in here we'll type in minus D3D11. Then we'll hit Done, and start up the game. Now this will force the game to open up in DirectX 11 mode, and if you're having issues with DirectX 12, then this may be a fix for you. Your performance may be slightly affected, and you may have issues with RTX if you're using that. However, of course, things should be quite a bit better, especially if you aren't able to launch the game to change your settings in the first place. If that doesn't work, then I've heard that deleting the Call of Duty cache files can actually help with this. Basically, what we'll be doing is deleting all of the saved or cached data on our PC for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Note that you won't have to re-download the game, and if you complete the campaign, this shouldn't affect your progress at all, either in multiplayer or single player, because that's all kept in the cloud. So make sure that Call of Duty is completely closed. I'm pretty sure you can have the Blizzard launcher open. However, you can of course close it, by clicking Blizzard and exit. Next, hold Start and press E, or otherwise navigate to this file explorer over here. Then we'll go into the Documents folder, and we'll open up Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Then you'll see this over here. You'll likely only have the Players folder, however you may have more than one folder, being Players 2, Archive, Report, etc, etc. Basically what you'll be doing is either cutting all of this out of this folder and putting it somewhere else, or deleting it entirely. Now I usually don't like deleting save files for any reason, basically if something does go catastrophically wrong, I can always go ahead and bring them back. So I'll just make a new folder, and I'll call it Old. As long as it's not called Players, then great. I'm going to move everything into this folder over here so that it sees that players was deleted and it will sync all of that stuff from the servers, making sure that it works all well. Now, of course, the next time you start up Call of Duty Modern Warfare, your settings may be reset, so you may have to go through, double check your keybinds and make sure that your graphic settings are the same if they're not kept on the Blizzard servers themselves. Now, that fix is a pretty straightforward approach and things should work better after doing that but if you're still having issues, I've heard of compatibility issues with other programs running on your computer, being Origin, a couple of overlays, maybe the NVIDIA Shadowplay overlay, you can try disabling that. However, I'd recommend you just clean restart your PC, and once it's restarted, you make sure absolutely everything is closed, other than the Blizzard launcher and the game itself. See if you're still having the issue, and if you're not, then go ahead and start up each of your programs one by one until you do receive that issue, then you'll know exactly what's causing it for you. Otherwise, you'll just be able to play it with no other programs open or a very specific few. Of course, closing non-necessary programs is always good for FPS and the rest. And then there's one final fix that only applies to people with multiple graphics cards that I forgot to add in when I was originally recording this, but if you open up your task manager, head across to performance, 
you can see that I have an NVIDIA 1080 and a GTX 1080 Ti. Now, if I go ahead and open up that documents folder over here, I head into documents, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, players, and I open up config.cfg, either with Notepad++ or a simple Notepad file, you'll see all of this text over here. Scrolling down to the very bottom of this, you'll see a very long string over here, line 233, but this will probably be different for you. You can see that I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, scrolling to the side, GTX 1080, scrolling to the side even more, Microsoft Basic Render Device Driver. Now, if we scroll all the way up to the top over here, you can see that I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, and this is the main graphics card that it's gonna be working on. Now, before, when I made my original video on this fix with the beta, it had it saved like this as an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 instead of space Ti, meaning that it was starting on my second graphics card, which was powering my left and my right screen instead of the center screen over here that's powered by my GTX 1080 Ti. Meaning that as soon as it tried to open up on this screen using a different graphics card, it crashed out back to my desktop with a DirectX unrecoverable error. So just make sure that this line over here says your graphics card name as it appears at the very bottom of this. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, 1080, etc, etc. Just make sure that the name there matches the name up here and it's the correct one. Now, of course, this will only apply to people with multiple graphics cards, especially if they're different ones. So this fix might not be for you. Anyways, that's about it. Hopefully this video got you somewhere closer to the answer. If you didn't find the answer, make sure to check the comments down below and see if someone has mentioned it already. Otherwise, I wish you luck with Googling. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.